I'm Erica Natividad at the Toronto Humane Society and this is Langley. He's one of 59 animals that are now here in the GTA waiting for their forever home after being rescued from a number of remote northern communities in Ontario. It was the biggest rescue operation in Toronto Humane Society history. It all began with a call for help from a remote fly-in community three hours north of Thunder Bay. Unfortunately, the stray population was growing uh, fairly rapidly and the, the, the stray animals were starting to pose a threat to the community members. Many remote communities in northern Ontario have limited, if any, access to basic medical services for animals, including veterinary clinics that spay and neuter. Because of this, the stray population in these areas rises rapidly, with no way to care for the growing number of dogs who may die without food and shelter. There's also a risk that these stray dogs may become aggressive. They're very affectionate, very sweet. They're cared for by the community, but unfortunately, they, they get overrun and... They become, they start organizing in packs, um, and that's when they truly become a threat to the community. Rescue foodies reached out to the Toronto Humane Society for assistance. THS helped secure two chartered planes to fly 59 animals, 41 of which were dogs, back to Thunder Bay. They were then driven to the Greater Toronto area and arrived last Sunday. Hi, the Humane Society was able to house 35 of them. It's pretty obvious they're northern dogs. You got lots of big, fluffy, kind of, you know, husky uh, type dogs, and, and they're absolutely adorable. These guys are so sweet. And uh, certainly the, the big city is a bit of a change for them than uh, the big, you know, open north. The Humane Society provides medical care for each dog and assesses their temperament and suitability for adoption. The whole operation cost an estimated $40,000 to execute and involve three other partner organizations, all of whom rely largely on donations. But these organizations say this project only made a dent in a larger issue. So we made a substantial impact in one community, but it really isn't going to matter if we don't start doing major clinics in, in that community. The problem will essentially reoccur. Is it something that we're always going to have to keep driving towards, keep fundraising for, keep working with our partners to continue to provide that really important, you know, wellness care and, you know, homes for them essentially. Now many of these northern pups have been placed on hold for adoption but if you are interested in adopting one of them you can either drop by or give the Humane Society a call. Erica Natividad, City News.